Hello, can you start by introducing yourself and yeah, tell us who you are? Uh, I'm Nick Sethi, uh, I'm working here at the newsstand, I'm an artist, photographer, uh, yeah, worked at the original newsstand, made a bunch of zines in the past, made a bunch during that time, and now we get to show them mm -hmm. at MoMA. So when it was done, you would just make zines and directly bring them there to, to show them? Yeah, the way it started was just with kind of like our crew of people and the employees and our friends and stuff. Um, and eventually it just led to whoever could bring them by or have someone else bring them by. Could, we would sell them for them. And um, so, well, yes, can you tell us about your zines? Like, so you're a photographer, so I guess that it's made, made mostly photo-based? Yeah, I mean, the way that, like, not just me, but a lot of people, I guess, work, like, seeing this whole exhibit is, like, there's kind of serious ones that are, like, very photo or follow, like, one project or kind of stricter thing, and then, the other cool thing about making zines is you just can do like the dumbest idea you want, mm -hmm. you yeah, know. So, <laughs> and like those are some. I mean, honestly, those are probably the best ones, you know, because it's something that like wouldn't really get made otherwise, and can't really translate to anything else. And maybe it's something that you could make like a website for, but there's a website for everything, mm -hmm. so. Or more like a GIF, maybe? Something yeah. more spontaneous Something's, and funny? Yeah, but like the fact that it that someone took an idea, a small, like dumb idea, and went through the whole process of like finding all the work or all the images for it, cutting it, stapling it, printing it, and then bringing it somewhere to like give to people, it's like, you know, when you see it in your hands, that's like, the, those are the best yeah. ones that I think. Do you have some of those silly ones in the one that you selected? I have, yeah, there's like... I mean, this one is just pictures mm -hmm. um, from that store Hollister. Okay. And it's on... Uh, this is from the really big one on Broadway. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah. I went So with, that's you. That's me. <laughs> I went with a friend who also worked here mm -hmm. and like I just I happened to go there like with a cousin of mine like by accident and uh, just realized how cool it was it's like this huge photos of like naked dudes and there's like lights the lighting's all crazy they have this, their own scent that they spray through mm -hmm. um, so I would just take people there like on like little tours of it so this is all like just photos that mm -hmm. Of, you know, this kid Nathaniel who also makes a bunch of zines and oh, he's yes, also he worked has with some, the, yeah. he, I went with him and we just ended up taking all these photos <laughs> and then at some point we had enough and just put this together, you know, so you know, again, it's like really mm. this is like the one that's of, not done the best, but like a lot of people have had a good reaction to this mm -hmm. just because it's like you know, it's, it's big, it's printed, it's in color, it's like, there's no reason for it to exist, <laughs> so, you know? Um, and is, is it also in response to this controversy that there was with the, the fact that they wouldn't make um, a large size um, clothes? No? I had no idea about yeah. that. Yeah, <laughs> okay. But... It, it, it no, sounds quite it's well like, to that. Yeah, it just, like, you know, I mean, this is my own, so obviously, you know, I liked it enough to put it out, but there's mm -hmm. so many other mm -hmm. uh, projects in that vein mm -hmm. that are in here that, like, they just work, you know? I like the idea that the artist is just the one that is, like, a tourist in his everyday life. Somehow. Yeah, exactly. <laughs>
And like, I mean, it could be that. It also just could be like, a lot of this stuff is like, someone just did it, you know? Mm -hmm. It's because these are, you know what, those actually aren't for sale. Sorry. I know. So you mean we can't just take those? The posters, though. Yeah. Yes, but the one I really want is out of it. Oh, okay, I know. That's what, it's kind of crazy because everybody gets in that mindset of they're like, oh yeah, there's free stuff, awesome. Well, no, I was here the other day and it was out also. Oh, uh, okay. So I came back today to see if I could get some. What is this? What, you can take a look through it. Um, they're all different, like, books, artist books and zines that people have made. Uh, and this used to actually be a store that we had in the subway. Um, so we kept one copy of everything as an archive, so that's this. It's not for sale. They're not for sale. Oh! <laughs> it's part of the exhibit. Yeah. And it's really hard to understand because at some point there are oh, yeah. some prices. Yeah, there's prices on things. It's like, that's why we wanted to be Just here. Just sell it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Basically, to we let people know. Make a lot of money selling it. I, we did. We <laughs> yeah, used to I sell it all. It was it. all for sale, but it wasn't a lot of money, sadly. <laughs> That's why you're here now. Yeah. You can make money here. Yeah. I mean, but it's it's a great thing to be able to do. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah, I really like it because it sh perfectly shows how this works you no, know, course, very differently yeah. from uh, from the, the original newsstand. Yeah, because the original was like, supposed to be a store, right? It wasn't ever... I mean, it also wasn't really supposed to make money. We have to sell things, we can't just give it away for free, mm -hmm. but uh, it, it was just for all these people to be able to like have something that they could sell mm -hmm. and you know, to have like an audience to put it out to, which is why it's so cool being here because there's I think 1,200 titles that we had mm -hmm. from the time that we opened until we closed, and most of them are here, you know? So it's like yeah. hundreds and hundreds of people whose work is in the MoMA. And how, yeah, and how is it different to work in, you know, from the, the subway to the MoMA? What's. Uh, it's pretty different. Just. Uh, there's always one person that comes in that would have never been to the original one. Mm -hmm. um, like usually someone older, usually someone who lived in the city for most of their life and is just like, is blown away by this. Who is the boss? This is exactly the same. It's the same, yeah. It's, it's bigger. We made it like... This is bigger. Yeah, just so people can fit in. Thank you, though. My friend, where we the best. Which really looks like there? it. I don't live over there. I it was even bigger surprise. Okay, yeah. Sometimes I think I'm going to stop. Sure. Yeah, it's Thanks. I mean, even, like, this woman left, like, an hour ago, but uh, there's always, like, one, like, you know, she, she said she'd been here since late 50s, so she's fairly old, and she's like, I've seen Williams work change and whatever, and, like, she's like, this is cool that it would have been there, you know? Because that had been closed for a while, too. Yeah. That's that location. Nothing there. There's finally, like, I think six months ago, a new guy signed the right. so it's like, good a luck, it must be, like, so expensive. Sure. Did you yeah. guys have a grant to get the space, or strictly did manage it out of pocket? No, we got, like, we got some funding, just you because then it's, like, we could actually do it and be comfortable and not have to take money from all the artists, uh, you know? Right, right. Like not take a cut. Like if someone is like, a big dude, if you're cut. selling something for like five bucks, yeah, like, like we're gonna take four, you know, like <laughs> it just like doesn't. Right. right. <laughs> yeah, that was a really good project. Was Dashwood a little bit behind that? Yeah, we got um, like selections from all the local stores. But I mean, were they more behind it money-wise a little bit? Or? No, they weren't really money-wise, but we but did. They, they did help, they like stuff. Yeah. And they kind of, uh, they co-published some stuff and did the launch at the space, so even though they had their store and could do it there, you know, but, uh... That was really good. 
I know Thank some you. kid who knows the Eiffel guys. I don't know if you're Yeah, yeah. He, he's, he was... He reminded me about this. He's like, work at FIT, and he's doing at FIT. I was like, oh, cool. Yeah, really yeah it's good. I've been meaning to get over here for weeks. Like, I know. It's like the last... Sale, right? Nothing's for No, sale. nothing. It's strictly yeah, archived. Just because it's one of everything. Right. No, so. it's hard to hold on to. But this, some, some of these are like, no one's ever getting to these, you know. Yeah, yeah. Fun. For sure. Yeah, I mean, I, I collect them. I mean, it's good, but you never know. Like, even... So when we did the, the newsstand, we had people who... There's, like, people who've made zines years ago mm -hmm. that, like... Even though there's kids who die for these things, sometimes the you just the connection before the internet, especially, doesn't get made. Where it's like right. the person who made it has 50 sitting in a box, and there's 50 kids in the world that are like googling it, trying to find it, but it just doesn't work. So it, we had people bring us some like some older stuff that they made, rare stuff, yeah, which was sick to be like, and it's priced. To be the only kind of spot that. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good mix, because this is a long history now. Yeah. It's pretty epic. Like, I have some Riot Girl zines buried yeah. somewhere. I'm like, I got the finals. Yeah, like, yeah, These yeah. are really, like, important zines. Like, oh, for sure. <coughs> yes, that what's common between the one in the subway and then the one in here is that there's a great deal of talking to people. You know, people are always very excited to see this, and... and it's as unusual in here as it is in the in the subway. Yeah, true, <laughs> true. It's there's the, it's also it's like very there's like a lot of things going on. You know, mm. it's like sometimes people in here it's more like people don't know if stuff's for sale or not, and uh, or want to know like the history. Or there's people that have been to the original one, whereas like the one in the train that be also since we were in between two trains, we had a lot of commuters. Are like people that would walk by every day, so at a certain point they would always just stop in, and uh, they, a lot of those people like didn't know what any of this stuff was, you know. Mm -hmm. So it same was thing, super just talking. In a certain way for people, it's very confusing. That adds, that added to it. Yeah, confusing. yeah. They're like, is, did one person make it? Did you make? Did you guys make all of it? Like, how can I get stuff in here? Uh, we had kids come with their parents and look through stuff and they'd be like, oh, check this thing out. Like, look, this is just drawings and you can photocopy it and like a month later come in and bring stuff that they made together. Awesome. So it was like, yeah. <laughs> Inspiration for the young ones. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what hopefully the whole thing is. Can you tell a bit about how... Um, what it means for you as an artist to make these kind of publications and... You know, also relating to other types of works that you can make? Yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, this was like some of the first stuff I did just because it's the most accessible. Um, you can just make it right away, you know? And it kind of shows you, you also have like an audience, you can give it to people, you know, if you're lucky enough to find a cheap way to make it, then can essentially give it out for free mm -hmm. so it like helps you gauge what in your work mm -hmm. is working and what's sticking and what you feel strongly about because um, I have zines that I made that I don't really like <laughs> that were like that was like damn good thing I only made this out of it and I didn't mm -hmm. turn it into a big project or something so what why do don't you like them um, I think just for me personally it was they were like too, too immediate. Like, you make it, you're like, I have an idea, and then you do it, and you didn't even stop to think whether, like, <laughs> if you were making, like, a painting, you would have to, like, mm -hmm. go, you'd have to buy all the right stuff, you'd have to create it. It usually takes, you know, hours, days, weeks, months to do. Mm -hmm. But, uh... So they were too fast. Too quick. They were, And then you do it, and you're like, oh, cool, I made 50 of them, and then you're like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> but, uh... And what makes a good one, then? Uh, what makes a good one? I don't know. They're, it's all like, they're all different. You know, even in my own work, I have ones that are very, like, they're like quieter and more serious and more of a, a photo project. And then I have ones that are just so stupid. Mm -hmm. But um, I think 
like Peter Sutherland, who's made tons, mm -hmm. he always makes good ones because, like, I think like he's one person where he's figured out like what. Okay, I know the answer. I think the good ones are something that is very authentic to you or some experience you've had or something you think about. Mm -hmm. And that's like, like that's why I brought up Peter. It's like anytime you see his, you're like, fuck, dude, this like. Yeah, precise. Just precise. <laughs> mm -hmm. But it's like so, they're just so good. Like, mm -hmm. There was one right here a second ago. There's one with like stickers all over the cover. Do you see it? Does this work or it's not? It doesn't. Like, are you not selling anything? No, we're not. Because it used to be a store. Right, I remember it. Okay. See, to me, like, this guy's work always. I don't know, like, like, there's a lot of stuff in it, and it's a lot of stuff that, like, a lot of our friends, similar people, I guess, like, see but I feel like most of it kind of mm. came from him and like like even this like the cover is like all stickers and then you realize it's printed on like the back of a FedEx envelope which is like cool because you know what if you ever go to Kinko's to make copies you always put them in these envelopes because it's free you know it's essentially it and it's like weird just like it's bootleg stuff but then it's printed on this like thin crazy paper um, certain things taken from other photos. It's text that I believe was taken mostly from like Nepal. He like photographed stuff in Nepal and cut out the text. Uh, but you know, like to me, this this works because it's like so many different things happening, mm -hmm. right? And like, and does it? works for you because you see what he's referring to or I guess yeah more like like personally it's mm -hmm. stuff that I like mm -hmm. we're not maybe not everybody likes the same thing mm -hmm. but it's also as you said in the beginning the way that it's made that makes them very specific and very precise yeah it's like it's almost when you see people like treat it as a real work of art mm -hmm. like not to sound like pretentious about it because mm -hmm. it shouldn't no, sure. doesn't need to be but it's like just putting the thought into it because it's like I mean the cool thing is like okay you use the FedEx thing like that's it's free mm -hmm. so it's not like you're not doing it in some like crazy conceptual fine art way mm -hmm. necessarily it's just like part of it is makes it a cheaper thing to make mm -hmm. which is always better mm -hmm. you know like and then you could see like the same dude made these little books. Um, and it's like, it's humans and nature and the way that people mm -hmm. interact and... You know, it's like, they're all like different things. It's natural stuff, it's like rocks but that have been drawn on and... Can you tell me how to spell that? Yeah, it's the first name or just... Yeah, it's A-R-I. A-R-I. And then it's something like M-A-E. <laughs> <laughs> I'll look it up for you. Yeah, I don't know. So it, it's just... You know, sometimes it's like stuff that is made a certain way and like the content and the way it's made work together. That I always think mm -hmm. is cool too. Uh, can you show us uh, more of your own stuff? Sure. Um, okay, so just because I was talking about that, like this one. Here, I'll put it like how you would get it. Or I guess the yeah. So it's open. inside of the that envelope. Yeah, it like basically comes in this like this like crazy mm -hmm. like fully blackout bag, like this kind of porn bag. Um, and then it's you know it's all black, no cover, no nothing. 
but it's like coated paper, so you can see your fingerprints on it and mm-hmm. stuff. So it's like the second you look through it, it like gets like kind of dirty. <laughs> it's never perfect. <laughs> yeah. And then um, it's just all these photos. I was like going tanning because they like mm-hmm. just got it at the gym that I go to, and it was mm-hmm. they were doing it for free. Um, and I'm Indian, I don't need a tan, but I just, it's like, fuck it. So, the lighting in the tanning spots, like, makes these crazy, it's just, like, cool color and good, like, these weird lines, because it's bars of light. And especially on the phone, it, like, cancels them out. So I, like, found all these photos um, that I collected of, like, girls in, that went tanning and took them. But yeah, it's crazy, like, you, this, like, just the, the things, like, this girl had to, like, put her phone on the floor, it's, like, shooting up, but it's where her feet are, so you, you know she had to put it there, put a timer on it, it's, like, it's nuts. And then close it again. Close it, <laughs> and then you get the photo, and then it's supposed to go into the world, but, like, not, you, you know, like, they would be mad if mm-hmm. they saw and it. And what are they bars like, on every photo? Sorry? Where are the bars on every photo? The bars are because, like, if you go, if you see in the tanning thing, it's mm-hmm. all these light tubes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So the part where there's no light coming mm-hmm. through is, like, pitch black because mm-hmm. the light is so strong. So mm-hmm. It's, like, very, like, contrasty inside. Okay. Um, you know, so again, it was like supposed to be this weird, like, you don't really know who made it. Mm-hmm. I mean, I put this little thing, this like bookmarky thing. With okay. The... And, and then your name isn't on the. directly no, I, on it? Yeah, so it's, it's only not on like, the bookmark. Yeah, so if you ever get it, or like if you lose that, it kind of just exists as this weird, like. Mm, yeah, nobody knows uh, yeah. who made it. Cool. It's like a thing in a weird bag. Um, and then this is a little bit more of just I mean it's this is like halfway between like a, it's kind of a book because we got it printed nicer mm-hmm. um, and did 500 of them but okay. this is a book that I did with Dashwood mm-hmm. uh, who's a store and publisher here and this is like a little bit more strict photo um, it's from a trip I did in India. So it's like all these little kids that I met. Uh, I met this kid first, mm-hmm. and he introduced me to all, like, this whole group of homeless people that were living under this bridge. And uh, I spent like three months with him this time, and I've gone back twice to see him again so I still I've known this kid now for like six years and he's just like a random little kid but he's cool he's a really good photographer too actually he always like I would give him my camera he would take it around and like uh, he shot probably some of the photos in this book even that's his little brother so this is like if you, even the way it's like laid out, designed, printed, everything, mm-hmm. it's a very like, you yeah, know, it's, it's just a photo. It has the codes of the photo book? Yeah, exactly. Um, Richie Rich! This is like their whole, this kid's whole setup of all his stuff. But yeah, so it's like different, you know, you can... This is like as I guess serious as like my work would get. Mm-hmm. Um, because the subject is more serious. Yeah, it's a little bit more like subject is more serious. It's also follows like we work with a designer. Um, it's <coughs> printed in a bigger edition, five hundred. Uh, it's just like it's more of a book in a way, but. Yeah, there's tons of, there's a whole variety of, like, projects that go from, oh, yeah, kind of like nothing to a thing, like, that took months or years sometimes for some of the stuff. Um, Well, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Was that good?